Josh and myself here in Indianapolis. We're at the Ironworks Hotel in Indy and we're shooting for a client so that's why we're here. So you're gonna see some show footage right here in Indianapolis. In the old days you couldn't go to Indianapolis or go to LA or go to New Orleans and be like hey you know what I'd like to drum up some clients in these cities and try to um, like get some meetings. You had to get there first and then you had to like network meet, build relationships, then get some meetings and possibly close. And that could have taken anywhere from weeks to many months. Um, in this case, we still have to build relationships and you still have to gain trust, but I've done it in a little different way. So before I got here, I put out some ads knowing that I was coming to Indy to shoot for Dr. John and I um, um, put out some ads saying, hey, you know what, I'm coming to town, Indianapolis, we have the availability to help you in regards to um, your digital marketing strategies, et cetera, et cetera. Paid a little bit of ad spend, and sure enough, I have some meetings already set up. Put your camera in your face and talk about your story. Set up some lead gen forms and target the right audiences and the right demographics uh, in the right geographical area. Uh, you can really have anything you want, and then it's your job to sit down with those people, be real, be authentic, and, um, and close, and really understand that you are in the business of building relationships. Josh and I are here. We're going to be working our asses off tomorrow and Tuesday and shooting for our clients. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun because it's no different than what we normally do. We're just doing it in a different location. Um, and uh, we're really excited to be here. Pack your bags, girl, let's get out of Dodge Sick of living life, sick of counting scars We the ones who go to war against the guys We the shadows that move around in the dark Take your life back, right. take your time, nigga What's up, everybody? We're at Northview Dental in Kokomo As you can see, Josh is there We're pumped about this because we're going to be promoting this dentist <laughs> We're going to be promoting this dentist in this area Here in Kokomo, Indianapolis So, that's it <laughs> Michael Jordan with the Scotty, Apollo Green with the Rocky. We gon' take it fast, you can take it slow. We don't take no breaks, we just take control. Take control. We're done at shoot number one at Northview Dental in Kokomo, Indianapolis. Kokomo is a super small community, I've noticed. Uh, it's not like the Beach Boys sing about, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but right now I get in the car, I got a lead sent to my email from our Indianapolis marketing so I can set some meetings in Indy while I'm here on Wednesday. So let's give it a call. Hello, is this Jalen? Yeah. Hey Jalen, this is Corey Jepson. Mm -hmm. I'm calling in regards to the video um, that I posted on Facebook and you responded to about digital marketing. Well, that's sometimes the way it goes. They hang up on your ass. <laughs> Why'd you fill out a form on Facebook if you didn't want someone to respond to your lead? Bro? Jalen? Come on. I think I heard somebody whisper, we don't want that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> call him back? Should I? Should I call him back? Yeah. All right. Let's call him back. Jalen, bro. The form. Or ma'am, whoever you are. Like, you filled this form out. I am just responding to you. Hey, how's it going, Jalen? This is Corey Jepson. So if you want to schedule some time to sit down on Wednesday to talk about your goals, I would be more than happy to do that. So, all right, take care. Have a good day. Bye. I didn't give them my phone number, but hopefully they just see it on their caller ID. Oh, he knows it's you. He didn't answer it the second time. Oh, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, that's how it works, man. Hey, take your nose. This is the new wave. Be on boss that drop out of school wave. Don't be a full wave. Stop being a school I wanted to ask him if we could shoot drone footage in their field. Couple thousand foot them books. What you got a desk job or a sex job? Boy, you still get hey, how's it going, sir? I, I'm from out of town and I just pulled in your driveway. I just wanted to ask you a question. 
I was hoping that maybe um, I could shoot some, like I could be in your field and shoot some footage on, on my camera just because I wanted to open field. Is that okay with you? I don't own these properly here. You don't? I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, what, do any of these are your fields? Huh? Any no, of them your fields? No, farmers. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, where are they? Do you know where they are? Or they're just... Uh, one lives in a brick house center. They okay. Own them. Who owns that? Who owns that field right there? Huh? Who owns that That's field? That's the guy I'm talking about. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah that guy, he can barely hear me. His house was pretty, like, lived in. <laughs> Dude, I just wanna buy that bus. Heck yeah, dude. He'd probably sell it to you for like 20 bucks. <laughs> He's like, oh god damn, I don't sell it to you for 20 bucks! Hi. Hi, my name's Corey. I'm actually from out of town, and I was, I'm trying to get some drone footage of like, uh, in a field. And I was wondering if you own any of these fields. Um, uh, not me. Um, we're actually filming something here. Oh, for real? Uh, yeah. That's it, that's incredible. <laughs> okay. That's okay. That's all right. All right. No, thank you. Have a good one. I have like a drone, and I'm trying to get some footage of how beautiful it looks. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Appreciate yep, it. We're gonna you. we're gonna park that and just. It's pretty back there. Isn't it really it? is. We saw it. We're like, wow. We're because yeah. we're from out of town. That'll so. come at a cost. Are you gonna make pictures out of that? Yeah, we can. If you give me your email, I'll send you stuff. Yeah. We'll we'll yeah, send you good. we'll send you the footage. That is just. We have one of them red red maples. Yeah. In our yard and. and they were just gorgeous. Cool. And your first name again? Dennis. Dennis, I'm Dennis. Corey. Yeah. And this is Josh. Nice yeah. Is that your son? Uh, no, this is, my, <laughs> this is my friend. Well, we both had your yeah. hair pulled. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just good friends. All right, we're going to shoot around a little bit. Thank, Thank you, sir. You. All right, let's go shoot. We live in a society that is completely surrounded by rules and boundaries and things and culture as set up and definitely our government and um, the way that things have been created from the beginning of time until now has been created to try to fit you within the system. Let me tell you something, the system doesn't apply to you. The system applies to whatever somebody thought that that would work well for everybody. I mean, you have been in a classroom, you have been in group settings where not everybody learns the same, not everybody talks the same, not everybody functions the same to be at maximum potential, right? If you wanna be at maximum potential, what do I always say? I always say a fulfilled you is the you the world needs. But the only way that you can be fulfilled is if you go outside of boundaries and do things the way that you want to do them. Look, one size does not fit all. One size never fits all, it never has, it never will because you're not all the same size, both here, here, and here. We're not all the same size, so one size can never fit all. And that is with everything in life. So I live my life, and I think you should live your life this way too, by two major rules. Number one, don't hurt myself, here or here, or physically. And number two, don't hurt others, emotionally, or physically or mentally. If I can follow those two rules, then I can then work outside the boundaries of the system and nobody gets hurt. If you really think about it, laws and rules and boundaries, those, all those laws and hundreds and thousands of boundaries are all to serve the two rules, which is don't hurt yourself and don't hurt others. And don't be afraid to step out and do things differently because when you follow those two rules and you start hacking a little bit of society and you start working with outside the boundaries, what's gonna happen? is you're gonna receive judgment, you're gonna receive odd looks and, and sayings and comments. People are gonna wonder what the hell's wrong with you. You're gonna be able to have to suck it in and understand that the reason that those judgments and those comments and those rants and all those things are coming at you, it's just because you're doing it differently. And when you do it differently, you can become quicker to your major resolution, which is becoming the best you possible.